you for coming back and watching my vlog post. Um, hi to all my new subscribers and hello to all the old ones. Old ones. Um, sorry, a bit out of breath today. Not even feeling very well at the moment, which is why this vlog post is a little bit later than normal. Well, I say normal. I've only done like two that I've been on time, but then I've planned it for today. Um, first off I want to say a big thank you for all the comments everyone left on my last vlog post it meant a lot because it's quite a personal one to me and yeah just thank you so much it's really sweet and lovely to read them all and um, I'm coming back to you so today I am doing a kind of fabric haul so it's basically what I've got planned for the next month so you'll see what I've made at the end of February. Um, so yeah, so I better crack on. So it's quite a lot of jersey this time. I say quite a lot. I've got three projects that I have in mind. Um, I'm trying not to pile too much on myself because I've got some knitting that I want to do as well, as well as other things like pattern cutting. So I thought I'd be kind to myself and just give myself three projects that I know that aren't going to stress me out too much. Um, so here you go. So my first one is it's this. It's beautiful. It's Jersey from Girl Charlie UK, and I got it in the sale. They have amazing sales, by the way. You really need to check them out if you get a chance to. Um, and it's just the most beautiful colours and pattern. And for this I have planned to make a Margot skirt which is from the Seamwork magazine. If you're not subscribed I would highly recommend it because even if you don't actually read the magazine the patterns that you get with it, um, you don't actually get the physical pattern. It's a new magazine so you get to download the PDFs but um, they've got quite a backlog of them now so and you get credits so when you've got enough credits you can either buy a seamwork pattern or you can save them up and get the collect pattern which um, is what I've done for my next project as well but um, so this is going to be the Margot skirt which I will put a picture in somewhere here and um, which is so it's quite a simple make and I thought because I'm not used to jerseys yet it would be a good easy one to get me going and um, yeah and it only uses up a metre of fabric so and I had three metres so I've got plenty I've already cut it out so it's ready to go I did however have to buy I was good and I put my project aside and I followed my own advice um, which you can look at if you want to read my blog post, I'll link that below. But basically, I'm trying to make a more wearable wardrobe and not make just one-off pieces that I love at the time, but then you kind of go off and they don't, they're don't. they not very practical. So um, I decided to take my own advice and actually get the correct equipment to actually make it properly and not just stress over it. So I've got some um, stretch needles now for my machine and a twin stretch needle so hopefully I'll actually be able to make it properly so I'm excited for that. I am a bit concerned because it is very it's it's very thin jersey and it's quite has a mind of its own so it's probably not the best one to start for beginners but I've started now so I'm just going to crack on with it so hopefully I will post pictures on Instagram of that soon. I'm quite excited. I think it's going to go with quite a few things. It's quite cool. My second um, project will be from this, which again is from Girl Charlie's sale, not uh, a few months ago now actually. And it's another jersey, obviously, because that's what Girl Charlie do. Um, oh, Charlie Girls. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that in the wrong way, but. I'll probably correct that later. Uh, but it's a brown and grey stripe. It's got it's a lot more stable than the previous jersey. So I'm thinking this will make an amazing Manetta dress. 
and I might join in the Manetta party, which I'll link below if you've not seen anything about that before. Which looks exciting, and I quite like joining in the Instagram peeps and see what they're doing. But I've wanted to make a Manetta for ages, but I've not had the courage, so it looks so comfortable and easy to wear, which is what I'm about being a mum and crawling around after my three year old. You kind of need comfort as well as style. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not so good for the Full of gold. Um, so, my third piece uh, that I'm going to make is going to be the clear. And everyone's gone mad for the clear at the moment. Um, which I can understand because it looks amazing. Um, but I thought I got this at the So Brum. No, it wasn't. So up north. Not been to So Brum. <laughs> Want to go to So Brum. Um, so up north. Um, we did a fabric swap there and I got this from So Haley or Haley Sews. Again, I'll link. I'm very sorry about this. I am full of cold and my brain is not working today, but I will correct all my mistakes and comments down below and you can find all the links and things. But um, yeah, so this was swapped by Hayley and I haven't known what to do for it for a while. I have had the idea of doing like a pinafore style thing, which would be quite good for this because it's like a cheesecloth almost and it's quite stiff. Um, might soften up in the wash though, but I think um, it needs something that's not actually close to the skin. So using like a pinafore or a dungaree dress would be perfect for this. And it's got enough structure, I think, to uh, handle that well. But I've wanted to make a clear for ages, so well, as soon as it came out. So I'm going to get the PDF of that and see how that goes. It should be exciting. And I think it's really nice, lovely colours for this time of year, but it's still wintery. Um, so I think that's it for now. Um, I can remember. I'm going to do a knitting post next. My next post will be a knitting weave post. Not that I've got a lot of knitting on the go at the moment, but I'm hoping to rectify that soon. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry. <coughs> But I hope you are well. Um, I can't wait to. S if you've got anything you've been making or anything like that, say hi on Instagram or you can leave me a comment below. Just say hi. If you've liked this vlog post, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And I hope to see you soon. <laughs>